Hey everybody, it is Asic Eric, and today I'm gonna tear into this rocker again, try and get some work done on that. Uh, also, just went over to Harbor Freight, got myself one of these Porta Power equivalents. Try and uh, mash that corner back there into where it's supposed to go. Uh, see how things go. Um, See if I can get this door open. Okay. Um, thanks everybody for the comments on the uh, the door yesterday. Uh, in answer to everybody's question, yes, the bushings are completely toast on this, as you can see. That door actually oh, doesn't move around as much as I thought. Interesting. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway. It's uh, quite a bit of play in the door there, but it might just be the... Eh, anyway, who knows? Uh, it's riding on top of the uh, door striker here when I try and get it up where it's supposed to be, so it's clearly not lined up right. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep working on that probably tomorrow. Uh, for today, what I'm going to do, as I said, I'm going to use the Porter Power try and get this thing mashed over a little further because it's not quite lined up right yet as you can see it's still off by three-eighths of an inch or something there um, and then I'm going to try and get this rocker all prepped and ready to go uh, for where I think it needs to go and uh, probably put a couple of uh, screws in it to hold it in place and then double check the door again tomorrow uh, my dad's coming over again tomorrow, so we're probably going to loosen this thing up and try and line it up again. But what I'm going to do on the rocker here is just use the straight edge and, you know, just try and, try and do my best to get this thing lined up where I think it's supposed to be. You know, like if I, I look at this thing here right now, it's actually low on the end down there. But yet it's pinched off by the door down there, so that doesn't really make sense. Um, let's see, so... That looks to be down by uh, not quite a sixteenth, I think, but when you close the door, it's hitting down here. So I don't think this thing really wants to come down any further. I'm pretty sure of that, judging by how big that gap is right there. I don't think it wants to come down. Um, so hopefully the door can come up a little bit. And by looking at the hinge there, it looks like it could come up on that one. This one's less clear. This one looks like it might be at the top of its travel already, so that doesn't leave me a lot of hope. But, And I don't think there's any room left to go up on these either, but we'll check it out. Um, I don't really know. Um, as I said here... The back of the door, I said this yesterday, back of the door is down a little bit there, not a ton, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, um, but the gaps look really good, so I can't pivot the door this way, and if I lift it straight up from where it is much, this gap's going to open up and this one's going to pinch off, so it looks kind of like a no-win situation here no matter what I do, but... All I really want is this door to be as level as I can get it so that the bottom of the door is supposedly in the right place so that that rocker has some reference to go off of. But I really don't know. So I can't really control the door by myself. So like I said, I'll just focus on the rocker today, get it prepped to be welded in where I think it's supposed to go. And then hopefully, uh, again, tomorrow we'll see if we can reposition the door and get that bottom edge to be happier. Anyway, so I'm off. Well, I lied. <laughs> uh, I decided to take a quick check on this, and I loosened up these bolts here, and I was able to lift the door uh, about yay much. Um, so I have a gap down there now. Well, you see, that actually looks about right. Um pretty good so it does still pinch in this one spot right here I think that rockers bent up right there because the rest of it looks about correct um, so I'm gonna 
try and see if I can tap this down a little bit here uh, to get that to line up better that way and then that'll match up more with this one which I think is correct and then now it's sticking out a bit too much here and if we follow that down it's about correct at the end here so I don't know which of those two is the right answer but this is all just kind of eyeballing here to try and get an idea of where this rocker is supposed to go. Um, another thing I'm not sure about is the front here. Um, there will be a 3 16 gap here for the for the fender, but I'm not, again, sure. Is there supposed to be a 3 16 gap all the way down, or is this supposed to butt up to the fender right here? Uh, maybe you guys... Uh, with one of these cars can let me know that, that would be really helpful. I just assumed this would want to be 3 16 of an inch further forward here than where it is, but I'm not sure. Um, one of the things to do on that regard, uh, thanks Russ for pointing out these guys, I went ahead and ordered these up, um, the wire guards for the rockers. Um, none of these holes line up anywhere. Um, even on the other side of the car they don't really line up so these are not particularly helpful. Um, but I did also order, hang on a second, I also ordered my sill plates. And this is a funny thing. Um, I showed this to my wife, to my daughter. I'm like this is so cool, like you know, something actually a finished piece for the car. You know, it's all rough and trash and then here I have this beautiful nice piece of chrome that's gonna go on the car someday and they were like eh. <laughs> they didn't get it um, but then uh, I showed my mom for those of you who didn't know my mom had a 81 Trans Am when I was growing up which is part of the reason I love muscle cars so much um, I showed that to her and she of course remembered the body by Fisher bit and she was really excited she's like ooh that's so cool and then my dad, who you saw in the video from yesterday, was funny. Turns out his father, my grandfather, worked in the Fisher plant. So he, there's actually some family history with that. So that's pretty cool. So my dad was excited by that too. Anyway, back to where we were. Um, I got this again to help me line up the holes. And so here, this lines up nicely with the existing rocker. And then you can see here, uh, this is not exactly where it's supposed to sit here, so don't mind that. But you can see it's off probably an eighth of an inch there, um, that this rocker wants to go forward another eighth of an inch. And if you look up in the front here, I can't, I can't take this clamp out without the whole rocker falling out, but if you try to line that up, I think that hole does line up there but it's obviously too far that way, so that's part of my alignment procedure is I've got to get this where it needs to be, and then hopefully that hole will line up too. So anyway, this is going to be my be-all and end-all of where this thing needs to be positioned fore and aft, um, because those holes seem like every Camaro has those holes in the same place, and these things are what they are. Um, Going back to this panel again, uh, I don't remember which one is which here. This is the pass driver's side. So this guy, if I try to lay that one in there and line those holes up, they don't line up. But uh, even if I put it in the back here and try and line up the holes here and here, they don't line up. So. This one isn't exactly right, I don't think so. Anyway, I have some some markers that I can work with. Hopefully that's enough to be able to get all this stuff to line up here. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me get back to this and trying to get that thing moved over. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that to stay where it wants to go by itself. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Um, so I may just have to use the port of power to hold it in place when I tack everything down and then hopefully it stays in place then um, but we'll see all right I've got it wedged out there pretty far right now farther than it's supposed to be if you can see that rocker is 
cranked out like this. Um, I was just trying to line this up, but I can see this whole inside piece must be moving there because um, that's clearly not right. That's too far. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure off it now and see how everything goes back, and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I, I think we we're at least successful at moving it. Um, this line looks pretty straight now. Uh, the rocker is sticking out too far now, um, but it's still not lined up here, which tells me that something in here is too far this way now. Um, it's a decent little gap right there. Um, I want to try seeing if I can get this inner rocker to move a little bit that way. Uh, see how that works. There's still a gap right here, but I think that's just bent. Uh, so let me work on that a little bit now. All right, so here's where we are. Um, got this guy lined up on all the holes. And you can see that one. I don't know if you can see down there. There you go, maybe. That's ah, pretty close. It's off a little bit. So this thing is actually a little too far out now just by a smidge. Um, so, and you can kind of see how all this stuff is not lining up anymore. It's too far in. So I actually pushed that too far. Who knew? So I'm going to try and massage that back in a little bit and see if I can get that to go back where it was. Well, I'm not sure that helped any, but it was fun. <laughs> Put the fender on. And just, you know, it's floating out in space here because there's no core support or anything, so that's not quite right. But I was just trying to get an idea of what's going on down here. I think this is where it wants to be forward and aft here. Um, the door, as we've said, is about where it wants to be. It's pretty close to 3 16 there now. Actually got three sixteenths at the bottom. Oh, it's a little, little tight up in through here, but it does have the right gap down here at the bottom at least. Um, so that's going to be a, a three sixteenths gap right there, um, but the door is further forward than the rocker there, so that's not right, I don't think. Um, but. This fender is probably cockeyed down, so raise it up. We'll close this gap here. Open it up a little bit there. It'll be too much down here, but I don't really know what else I can do. Um, so I'm going to double check all the measurements on this. I think it's in the right place now. If you look down the side, the gap looks pretty good. I beat on this a little bit with a hammer, so it's about in the right spot now. So I think, I think that's a winner right there. So I just gotta kind of lock everything down there and mark it. I think that's what we're gonna go with. But I'll check this forward and back one more time to make sure the holes for the sill are in the right place. And then if they are, well, that's what it is. All right, let me show you where we ended up here. Uh, so with the door sitting flush here, sticking out a little bit at the bottom here. Um, as I said, I think this corner of this door is bent right there. You see it's got kind of a, a bow right here on the rocker, but if you look at the reveal as we go across, it's pretty good all the way across. Come down our line here. I think it's pretty good. Uh, gap wise a little wide down at the end here same there a little tight right here a little wide at the back so I think that's pretty good um, I can massage this a little bit it maybe wants to come up this way a little bit once I start actually cinching everything down here this is gonna move up a little bit so I'll close that gap a little bit there uh, hopefully doesn't pull it in too much because that reveal needs to stay where it is. 
So I've got a few screws holding it in place. Um, I worked on this with a hammer a little bit to get all these edges lined up because they were all over the place. So that looks pretty good. Let me open the door. All right. So I've got a couple of screws in here holding this in place. You can see how all this stuff is lined up now. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. I think I can fix this up with the welder. Once I bend that tab back into place, this edge is going to be a little better. This is pretty close in through here. Um, a little bit of manipulation there. I think I can get all that to work. Um, Silk plate. It's not perfect. It's pretty good. I put a screw right there, unfortunately, so I covered up my hole. You can see, so there's that hole. That hole at the back is lined up. So this is good. This is nowhere to be found up here, though. And the actual hole is sort of right, right there. So that's off a bit. So we're going to have to redrill that hole, but not much I can do about that. That is what it is. Um, this, let me get a flashlight, hold on. Uh, let's pull the power out of the way. So this gap here where the inner rocker meets the jam here is pretty close. So I think uh, once I clean that up, I'll be able to put a couple screws in that and pull all that back together. I think that'll be fine. Uh, so all in all, I think we're pretty good. Um, no complaints, I think. Uh, as I said, this thing, what I do, this isn't going to line up anywhere, so... I line it up with the screw hole on the back. That screw hole almost lines up there, but that hole, nowhere close. Um, these holes are... Barely, I think that one's okay, um, but this thing needs to be bent quite a bit to pull it over to where it needs to go, so I don't know if the car's bent right here or that thing's not the right shape, whatever, but it doesn't really fit back here in this corner. Uh, I put a little piece of metal here to try and keep this thing level. It's pretty good. Uh, let me get the straight edge here. Check this since I finished all of this. Let's see how we did. Sorry, hard to do this one handed. All right, so that looks pretty tight. There's a little gap right there, as you can see, which we'll fix up once we weld it. And then it's clean all the way across there. So that line looks good. Try and come down here. This one did. It's a little high in the center there. And then it's good down there, so it might have a little bit of a down crown on it. Um, but as we said, this is going to come up a little bit once we tighten everything up down there. So it'll come up, which will help fix that. Um, let's see, I don't know if I can check this bottom edge here. The same thing. It's got a pretty good crown in the center there. So all that tells me that the, the bottom edge down there still wants to come up a little bit, but it can't really come up too much. So we're just going to have to live with that, I think. Uh, it is what it is. All right. So I think... Um, I'm gonna leave that like that for today. I think that's a done deal. Um, and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and get that piece welded in place. Uh, double check the door and everything. I think the door is fine where it is. Um, I'll see how it goes. So I've gotta sand all of this stuff down, get some weld through primer on the back of it. Um, a couple of you were questioning about uh, doing epoxy and stuff on the inside of the frame rail or the rockers. 
I'm not going to do that because they already have the factory coating on them and it looks really good. There's no corrosion anywhere inside here, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, when all is said and done, I am going to shoot the internal frame coating in here though um, to cover up the back of these welds and things. So, uh, But I'm going to cover the whole thing, not just the welded part. So, so it's going to have uh, some covering that way, so it'll it'll be good. I don't think we're going to have any problems with it. But I do need to get weld through primer on all the welded surfaces and stuff, but I'll do that tomorrow. It's hot as hell in here. Um, and I want to take a break. So, I think that's going to do it for the day. Um, I'll give you an idea on this door, how it closes here. Uh, so when you bring this guy in, you can see where it wants to be there. So it's pretty low, and then lift it up onto the uh, the latch there, and it's mostly in the right spot. That edge is actually pretty close when the door's here, so it sits a little far in right here, um, so you kind of have to pull it out a little bit, then it's a little too low. So anyway, uh, that's the door. It's not too bad, not too bad. All right, uh, that's gonna do it. Okay, I will uh, talk to you guys tomorrow uh, when we get down to welding this dog in, uh, if all goes according to plan, of course. And uh, we'll take you along for that ride. Thanks everybody.